Wise man, I shouldn't even call you that anymore. Your decision to call in that disgusting man to be on our war games team is unacceptable. We had to find a replacement for that degenerate. From here on out, you are fired as my special counsel and as my wise man. Paul Heyman is fired? What? Yeah, here comes LA Knights, the new world heavyweight champion after cashing in money in the bank. He is here and he shocked the world at the end of the Survivor Series War Games match, picking his spot after Gunther went through the entire War Games starting from number one. He decided to cash in during the return of a certain straight edge savior. Let me talk to you. The new world heavyweight champion is talking straight to you and he wants you to formally apologize for not being familiar with my game. It took me so long to cash in this Money in the Bank contract, but damn it was for good reason. I picked the perfect spot, cashed the perfect check right after War Games. Some washed up scumbag comes out. I overshadow him by simply being in the same building. I come through and ping Gunther, the second man to ever do that in this company, and I became the world heavyweight champion with everybody saying. Well, somebody that certainly has an issue with LA Knight is John Cena, the Dr. Thuganomics just had a match with Knight at Survivor Series and Clash of the Castle, so there's something he would definitely want to say. Pipe down, one hit wonder. We got some things to talk about. You calling me a one hit wonder is ironic. Can anyone name a song off your album that they weren't forced to listen to weekly? Didn't think so. Taking shots now, huh? Something I don't need to do because I got receipts to back up my claims. I beat you at Survivor Series the same night you won this pretty little title. So now, it only makes sense that your first challenger is me. Alright Doc, so your damn roll. I thought only one washed up wrestler turned movie star would take opportunities away from others. Not this guy. Never John Cena, right? Get in the back of the line, champ. You just won that title. There is no line. So as far as I'm concerned, this is the front and the back of the line and it's standing right in front of you. I'm coming for that title and it's going to be such a shame as a doctor to be the reason you flatline. Oh wait a minute, the tribal chief is here just fired his wise man. Roman Reigns is on SmackDown and he's interrupting John Cena and LA Knight. Enough! Enough! I won war games. I was supposed to get my title shot at Gunther until you ruined it, LA Knight. Sorry, John, but you the two, because in this line, I'm the one. Oh, and now former World WA Champion Gunther is out here, not wasting any time getting himself back in the mix after being cashed in on. None of you will be getting any title shots. There is no line to be filled because the Ring General is executing his rematch clause for the World Heavyweight Championship tonight. It's time I restore prestige and honor to that title before you ruin it. Well, what a huge main event. LA Knight will put the World Heavyweight title on the line for the very first time against Gunther, the former champion. Man, that is some bullshit. Oh, not you again. Hush. I'm not here for your trash talk. I'm here to make some money and break some hearts. I'm here to show you that nobody overshadows CM Punk, not even the megastar. You think you can? Let me guess, you want to get in on this line we got going for the World Heavyweight Championship? Newsflash, dummy. You just got back here and we don't hand title shots to backstage Karens in WWE. No. That wasn't the answer I was looking for. What I was really asking is, are you ready? Are you ready for when CM Punk wins the Royal Rumble and challenges you for the World Heavyweight title? That's if you make it there as champ. See? Just like that. You thought you knew the answer, but I changed the question. Have a nice day. Now we have our first match of the night, and here is Asuka. After returning to the main roster, she had a little stint in NXT. Asuka is back on SmackDown after helping EO Sky fend off Liv Morgan and Chelsea Green in Survivor Series, but then attacking the women's champion after the match. Asuka is back in action against Bailey. Bailey trying to get her name back in that title scene. It's been a while since she has felt like a threat, but curious by her absence is her bodyguard, Raquel Rodriguez. 
Please don't tell me we have more shenanigans. Anyway, Bailey versus Asuka right now. Now, I am starting to feel a little bit bad for Bailey. You know, she's been struggling with a lot recently. She's not going to recover Rodriguez now. She's kind of been thrown to the wolves a couple times now. She's got Asuka in her return match. Asuka made a little bit of an excursion to NXT. Had a few with Roxanne Perez, which culminated at Vengeance Day with her losing to Roxanne on Extreme Rules, No Holds Bar, whatever one it was. But now, she's back on SmackDown, going after the other Women's Championship. She failed to get the NXT Women's Championship, but the Women's World Title is what is next on her mind. But Bailey is going to try to stop any chance she gets at it. Now, here we go, in the corner. Bailey. What happened to me in a second? Oh my god. Jesus, German suplex from Asuka. I'm keeping that in. I don't care. I might. I, I, I usually re record that, but we're not doing that today. Elbow from Bailey. No way. Asuka moves. Center up the rub. German suplex. A bridge almost. Into the corner we go. Asuka feeling herself. Running around in the corner with a ball dog. Asuka. Big drop kick to the back of the head to the Karen haircut. Arm behind her back. Oh my god. Spine buster. Send her into the corner. Here we go. Running straight out. Went for a kick. No Bailey. Turns it around. Got in the corner wait a minute oh oh no oh god bailey please stop oh my oscar's catching it right now we're still going bailey's not stopping oh my god finally letting off on oscar wait a minute bailey to belly bailey to belly close to the ropes but oscar's hand is not close enough no oscar's able to kick out bailey is struggling she can't believe it but here we go oscar fighting out no wait what caught went for the close on german suplex bailey taking her down with the green and uh, the green the, the blue side of her hair wait a minute caught her there oh my dog oh, bubble bomb big spinning back kick now here we go, Asuka off the ropes, annealing Bailey. a hip attack, Asuka up on that top, went for an elbow, but no, Bailey rolling her up here, wait a minute, off the moving of the elbow, no, Asuka able to kick out, oh my god, throwing her whole body at her, B Bailey up on the top, no way, Asuka sends her off, went for a double back handle, but no, Asuka, look at this combination, just knocked her head off, now she's up on that top, hits a frog splash, here we go, calling her up, no, 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 Bailey, fighting as for as much as she can, right to the eyes here we go no way oscar catches her bringing her back oh no she's got bailey locked in an oscar lock cinched a rear naked choke bailey is nowhere she can go she can fight all she wants she can squeal oh no and bailey has to tap out oscar wins her return match on friday night smackdown bailey put up a good fight but oscar the empress is just too good on this return Oh, but here we go! It's the Women's World Champion, EO Sky! The Women's World Champion does not get, is not going to take anything lightly from what Asuka did at Survivor Series, missing her after the Women's World Championship match where she retained against Liv Morgan. And here we go, a standoff between the two, the two Japanese women's legends. And they're just going to feel each other out for now. Are they friends? Are they not? Does Asuka, what is she doing? What is... Is she dancing? Is she taunting? I don't really know what she's doing. Io's kind of just watching Asuka work. And what? She just missed it. The 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 ref maybe? I don't miss it. Anybody? I, she just missed in the, the the world. I don't know. But it is official right now. Let's make it official. Io Sky will defend the women's world championship at the Royal Rumble against the new number one contender, Asuka. Now here comes the Intercontinental Champion, Dominic. Mysterio. Somehow, after retaining against Braun Steiner and Carmelo Hayes, Dirty Dom and the Judgment Day are on top of the world. This man is still the most insufferable human on the earth, and now he has a microphone. Was that not how that was supposed to go? Was I not supposed to retain my Intercontinental Championship? Was the Judgment Day not supposed to win women's war games? Little scratches along the way, being thrown off war games, but that doesn't matter because the record books show that the Judgment Day is on top. Whoop that goddamn trick. Trick Williams is out here by himself. No mellow needed. Trick Willie wants his get back for him and his boy. What's up, sidekick Trick? Don't ever call me nobody's sidekick. I am Trick motherfucking Williams, and I need to prove myself. Melo couldn't get the job done. Braun couldn't get the job done. Trick Williams is bout it, bout it, and I want that IC title. Oh, well now this is getting interesting. Carmelo Hayes is here. I'm hoping he knew about what Trick was doing tonight. This could get ugly. Couldn't get the job done. Anyway, Dom, you need to pipe the hell down. Trick and Mellow Gang runs deep. 
Way deeper than the Judgment Day. Way deeper than Alba goes in you. And we are coming for your Intercontinental title. Man, but you've already lost. Can I get my own shot? Get a chance to be my own guy? Oh, but as soon as it was getting good, JD McDonough and Damian Priest are attacking Trick and Mello. Oh, but hold on a second. Kevin Owens is here. Another man who has his issues with the Judgment Day. Fuck it. We got three on each side. Let's get a six-man tag started right now. Man, a six-man tag match. Y'all really trying to play with me right now. But Kevin Owens, oh, already going after the Intercontinental Champion. As much as Mellow and Trick might want some shots, Kevin Owens is certainly desperate for one at this point. He's been dealing with the, the Judgment Day for too long. He's been too pissed. There's too much going on. And now Kevin Owens is getting his hands on Dominic Mysterio finally. But off the ropes with a springboard comes dirty. Dom, no! Owens now tagging into Mello. It's going to be weird to see how Trick, Mello, and Kevin can work together. Trick and Mello having some... Baby issues? I have no idea, but, but you better get out of the damn ring, Dominic. It's J.D. McDonough, who's not even legal, by the way. Just got tossed for no reason. Kevin Owens was tagged back in the match. Trip Williams is throwing J.D. into the ring for no reason, really. And now Kevin Owens got Dominic packaged up for a package power driver. Tagging Amelo again. Now Melo getting his hands in Intercontinental Champion. The guy he took it from. But no, Damian Priest tried it. No, float over. Damian Priest is now legal, getting his head taken off. First 48 for Melo. Here we go. Melo is piecing up Damian Priest right now. Up on the top rope. He goes up for nothing but that power bomb. Tagging a Dominic. His head got taken off. Damien with a cheap shot. He's going after JD for no damn reason. Oh my god, a DDT on the apron just for existing. And now Dominic's able to take out Kevin on the ropes. And now Dominic, he's going after Trick as well. Trick hasn't even made it in the match yet. Now Dirty Dom coming off the ropes. The drop kick on Melo. Here we go. A little spike Rana there. Tagging to JD McDonough. His first legal action of the night. He's gotten pieced up before. Tagging to Kevin Owens. Still no tag to Trick. But a pop-up powerbomb on McDonough. But Dom being able to break up the pin before it can even get counted. And now here we go. JD McDonough taking him down. He's back in this match with double foot stomp. Tagging to Damian Priest. They both left for close on the outside. But Damian gets the upper hand. Now sending Kevin Owens into the announce table. Kevin Owens get the hot tag to Trick. Damian tried to go off the top rope. No, he missed. Damian's taunting for some reason. And now Trick with a slap to the back of the head. It's not like a cut. And now Damian Priest still fighting out with his knees to the, to the chest of Trick Williams. Now he's got him goozled south of heaven. Evan. South of Evan chokes them on Trick Willie. Cover. He's whooping that trick right now. Oh, what a kick out. Mello was late. Mello didn't even try. He didn't have any faith, maybe. I don't know, but oh my god, a discus kick. And a low slam dunking him. Trick Williams. Cover on Damian Priest, but it took too long. The ref took too long, and Dominic is able to break it up. And Damian gets a little hot tag in a trick. Or in a Dominic, but Trick is taking advantage of it. Taking out Damian. And now Mello and Dominic are going on the outside. I think Trick took down JD off the apron. A sunset with power bomb. He he did, and a dirty Dom taking him down the wheelbarrow, but now a trick with a, a, a chop and a, and, a, and an elbow, and now he's going ring around the rosy on JD McDonough on the outside for no damn reason. We gotta get back in the ring for our count out. Oh my God, what a kick from Trick. Now taking out Damien off the, off the ropes. But Dom with a Hurricane Rana. And in the corner, tagging to JD McDonough. We're gonna get some tag team maneuvers from these two. JD McDonough back in it for, oh my God, a double shoulder tackle is crazy. And now he's got Trick Willie up in his shoulders. Ireland's call. McDonough, oh my God, BME. Cover on Trick to pick up a huge upset this would be. And Mello able to break it up. A Trick kicked out anyway. Maybe he didn't need his help. Dominic Mysterio got tagged in. JD McDonough. Donna's catching a stunner on the outside. Priest is trying to fight out. Kevin Owens is going all around everybody. Damian Priest catches one. Now we're down to Dominic and Trick Williams in the ring. And now Trick sends to the corner. Wait, Mello. Mello tags himself in. Mello tags himself in. Wait, Dominic, roll up. Roll up. Trick's watching. He can't get out. Oh my God. Dominic with a roll up. Maybe Mello shouldn't have tagged himself in. Maybe Mello shouldn't have taking all the spotlight for himself. Trick was doing fine. But Dominic Mysterio with a roll-up gets the win for the Judgment Day. I cannot deal with these fools anymore, man. Now we see Braun Steiner. Fury is backstage. Couldn't get his IC title shot, and now he's out of the rankings. No, not again. Oh, wait. Tazawa has backup. Tazawa's been catching crazy strays from Braun and his spears, but now he's got Omos as his backup. That's kind of awesome. And Braun Steiner is furious, but he has no choice but to walk away. Man, you know, it really sucks to see the fall from grace that the New Day have had. Kofi Kingston and Big E just aren't the same as they used to be. E, Kofi, what's going on, guys? Are you all right? I know we beat you, but it, it was a great match. Nothing to be ashamed of. Leave us 
alone. Movie needs some time to reflect. All right then. Now it's time for the social media megastar Logan Paul to come out to the ring. The first man to declare for the Royal Rumble match after defeating Cody Rhodes at Clash of the Castle in a major upset. He's got a match tonight against a local competitor. Say his name, please. Oh, Isaac Diaz. Did I get that right? With two S's, not two A's. Isaac Diaz. Alrighty then. If you didn't know, it's a guy from my Discord server, but Logan Paul, oh my god, maybe Diaz can pull off the biggest upset ever, but already getting stacked up a two count, but Diaz, he sent him off there, but Logan, oh my god, just piecing up Diaz, say his name, and he appears, and it's not working, and now Logan off the top, my goodness, buckshot to Diaz, up on the top rope, frog splash, oh no, I do not believe in Diaz, cover, Logan Paul, quick work of Isaac Diaz, maybe one day, Maybe one day. Try your luck in the breakout tournament or something. Logan Paul, quick work. He's acting like that was hard. He's he's all lamping and stuff, That's acting like that was a challenge. It took you like five seconds. Shut up. Oh, but hold on a second. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes is out here to interrupt Logan Paul. What is he got to say? Nice to finally see you again, Logan. I have a newfound respect for you, and I know you don't hear that often, but you beat me, and that was a hard pill for me to swallow. But for you to disrespect this sport and this business afterwards, I just couldn't let that slip by. You wanted to declare for the Royal Rumble, so I declared for the Royal Rumble. Logan, I am chasing you. That's not how that was supposed to go, but it's happening. So, ahead of the Rumble, I would like to shake your hand. Uh, no? What, when the hell did I ask? Please stop stalking me, Mr. Rhodes, or else I will press charges. I got a good legal team. As far as the rumble, I'm not concerned with you. You should have let me finish. Nobody ever lets you finish. Walked right into that one. And what I was going to say is that I have some news on the Royal Rumble, and that news is that one of us will be starting the Royal Rumble at either number one or number two. I don't know which of us is getting that spot. But one of us is. May the best man win. Either Cody Rhodes or Logan Paul will start the Royal Rumble match? That is insane news. Which one will it be? Now it's main event time, and it's for the World Heavyweight title as the former champion, the previous champion, Gunta, pissed off that he A, lost war games alongside Imperium and Manilia Dragunov, and B, lost his title via Money in the Bank cashed in, and now he has the man one on one as LA Knight has pulled off the unthinkable and done what nobody thought he would do, and that's pin Gunther. Him and Santos Escobar back in NXT 2K22 are the only men that have done that, and now LA Knight has to defend for the first time right Right after winning it, put that world title to the sky. Man, it feels so weird seeing Gunther without that world heavyweight title. That's how much he did for it and already getting up from that shot. But in that same sentiment, it feels so right seeing LNI with it. But he might not have it by the end of tonight. Gunther might make it back for a two-time champion, make LNI the shortest champion in the world heavyweight title lineage. But oh my god, chops like that are going to be a long night for Mr. Knight. And now here we go, Gunther trying to get him up on the floor. But LNI trying to fight out as much as he can. Don't underestimate him. He's beaten some people in the past. This is no jaw small feet though. And now, oh my god, with a big boot. LA Knight off the ropes, a people's elbow that he stole. And now Gunther goes out to the outside, but LA Knight trying to join him. But uh, Gunther's okay. Gunther, oh my god, a chop. You just can't let up an inch on this bed, or Gunther will take a mile. But no way, LA Knight trying to fight out from it. Here we go, got him, pump handled. What is this? He's moving around him. Oh, the power from LA Knight, but Gunther's up to his feet. He's almost bounced him out of the damn ring. Now Gunther setting him into the corner. He just busted him open already in this match. We're getting color. And now Gunther off the missed clothesline. Power bomb. Got him stacked up. Zesty pin. No, LA Knight kicks out. Now get up. Oh my god, LA Knight's up. We went for a chop. LA Knight trying his best to fight out of it. Here we go. Oh, a suplex on the ropes. LA Knight. Now these big combinations. He's feeling the movement. Oh my god, yeah, movement. And I went for a neck breaker. And I went for a knee drop. And oh my god, a shotgun drop kick. 
our oh, chop on the ropes and now our oh, chop in the corner go through chill man where are that where are you going where are you going ring general this is not in the ring where the general would take place but he's got night up there avalanche power bomb cover to become a two-time world heavyweight champion but LA Knight kicks out Guter can't believe it LA Knight still bleeding wait a minute he popped up Guter still can't believe it BMT BMT blunt force trauma but he's in the ropes no but now he's gonna pull him he's gonna pull him away from the ropes still gonna cover on Guter no he kicks out as resilient as ever is Guter now here we go off the Mr. Big boot oh my god just ch just chucking him just chucking him over his head and now Guter with his knee strikes Guter has entered a, a second gear in this match he's taking him down wait a minute up on the top bro but from frog splash no knight roll up roll up to steal it no Guter kicks out man I thought he had him there went for a clothesline got him over his shoulders Guter with a reversal the Death Valley driver up on the top rope this time he hits the frog splash to his back he was trying to move out of the way but he did it Matter! Knight kicked out. Guter can't believe it. Knight is, is is impressing me right now with the amount of beating he's been taking, and he's still in it. With a sleeper hold, a rear naked choke. This is how he tapped out Brock Lesnar. Oh, we don't mention him anymore. A clash with the castle. I forgot we don't mention him anymore. And now Guter with a sleeper hold on LA Knight. LA Knight is screaming. He's he's he's, he's trying his best. He's flailing. He might be fading, but no. Knight trying his best, getting out of it. Oh, he's got him stacked up. He's got a pin on Guter. He's got him stacked. LA Knight just pulled off a miracle. LA Knight just retained the World Heavyweight title by accident, by roll-up. He caught Guter off the sleeper hold. We've seen people reverse it like that, but I think LA Knight just had a better hold, or maybe he wasn't expecting it as much. I don't know, but LA Knight able to sneak by with the World Heavyweight Championship. The yeah movement is at full effect. This man speed ran the company and now he's on top of the damn brand. Ooh, wait, is that, is that what I think that is? Ooh, LA Knight is, is expecting someone, but I don't think he's here. A little bit of mind games from a certain straight. Oh, 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 from a straight edge savior, but that's a guy behind him. Yeah, I think someone was playing mind games with some static shocks, but John Cena is here. He thinks he's at the front of the line, and he's trying to cut it right now. He's got Knight up on the stage. F you off the damn stage. John Cena just sent a message to LA Knight. Well, Gunther is out of the line at this point, and John Cena's feeling it, so why don't we do it? But with a little added stakes, it's the third match in their trilogy. John Cena will challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship against LA Knight at the Royal Rumble in a no disqualifications match. Oh, is that Gunther? Gunther's laid out, obviously, but Paul Heyman, he was just fired earlier in the night. What is he planning? Hello, Sean. I got some things I want to talk to you about. So if I'm not mistaken, SmackDown has the number 30 spots in both the men's and women's Royal Rumbles? Yes, Punk, that is correct. I think I may have some options.